Hello, my name is Gaudin Martin Zulu. I'm an animation producer. I've been using Maya since version 7. And in this introduction tutorial, you'll learn the basic Maya features and give you the best training needed for you to hit the ground running. First, we're going to touch on the interface. We'll learn about how the interface, how the Maya interface is uh, displayed and um, how to manipulate objects. Then we're going to dive right into it and learn about the polygonal modeling. After that, we'll learn about the uh, NURBS modeling, we, uh, NURBS using the NURBS surfaces, and um, we'll learn about how to create the more complex uh, advanced modeling concept and apply it to a design concept and build a car from scratch. We'll also learn about creating and manipulating textures to give your models added depth and realism. Rendering is another topic that we're going to touch. We'll learn about how rendering works to make photorealistic um, models. We'll learn about the Maya software renderer as well as the more advanced software renderer called Mentor Ray Renderer. Paint effect is another top th topic that we're going to touch. We'll learn how to use the paint effects to create environments and effects. And finally, We'll learn about animation and how to animate uh, our cars that we go our car that we're gonna build, and um, we'll we'll come up with something else to build. We'll, yeah, we'll come we'll come up with something else to build. We'll we'll work together. Now, I'm I'm using um the Macintosh computer, but some people have uh, different computers. Some people use the Linux, Mac. Or Windows, so it depends what you're using. So, uh, um, anyway, let's start starting um, with the with um, with the Windows. Once you install Maya, you should be able to have the um, at the launch icon on your on your desk desk uh, desktop. But on the Mac, because I've already dragged it into into there, with the Mac you probably have to go to hardware. Sorry, because I'm using uh, Geo Screen, so it's a bit. Yeah. You go to hardware. As soon as you install the application, the Maya application that you get from Autodesk, you go to the app, uh, to the hard hard drive, then applications. Sorry, then you should find it here. You go to Autodesk, then it's here. Maya 2011. Click on this icon. And drag. Sorry drag it into your um, palette. I already have it so there's no need to have two icons. So yeah. And um, when you drag it there it should be yeah it should be straightforward. Um, let me close this. As you know the Mac computer and Windows computers are different. The Mac keyboard is different from the PC or the Linux computer. On, a, on, on the Mac that I'm using at the moment, I'll be hitting Option plus mouse drag to, um, to navigate through our scene. But on Windows, you'll be, you'll be hitting the Alt plus mouse drag to navigate through your screen. And um, what else is different? Uh, the insert, yeah, the insert key, the insert key is different. On Windows, they press Insert. On Mac, I'll be pressing Home to insert the icon. You'll learn what Insert is as soon as we start um, learning. You'll learn about. You'll learn what the Insert is. It will click. I also try and call this out throughout our lessons. Otherwise, everything else should be pretty standard. Another thing that I need to um, to stress. Is uh, you will need a th you need a three button mouse. I can't stress this enough, but a three button mouse is what you need. Um, yeah, let me just uh, open this. So my uh, yeah, you need a three button mouse. It's about ten dollars. You can get it from a, pretty much any computer store, any proper computer store. You can get a three button mouse like ten dollars or something. Otherwise, you'll be able. You won't be able to navigate Maya. I can't stress this enough. You will need a three-button mouse to be able to follow these tutorials. You also need a decent graphics card. On on my um, 
MacBook Pro, there's a, let's see, um, let's see, about this Mac, memory processor, graphics card, jeez, I've been for, I've been for yeah, graphics and display, I'm using a NVIDIA GeForce 8, 8, uh, 600M GT and these are the specs. So yeah, but you probably need an NVIDIA Quadro to be realistically speaking an NVIDIA Quadro minimum or AMD Fire GL card. Okay, you will need a, yeah. Your computer will struggle in certain rendering um, and stuff like that. These are, um, yeah, the, your, your, your computer will struggle a little bit if your graphic cards are not uh, that good. Otherwise, um, you should be able to, um, to do it with the decent graphic cards. And those ones um, on a strict budget, don't worry about it. You can still, you can still learn the, ba the, ba the introduction. As a, you struggle your um your mac might your computers might give you a few errors here here and there uh but it shouldn't be something big you should be able to follow these tutorials um pretty well otherwise when you go into a more advanced um rendering you will need a better graphic card but for now we can learn with this one so why don't we dive right into it and um do some cool animations <laughs> 